and welcome to Hexbeams UK. We have a new centre post and hub assembly. Nothing that much has changed on the centre post side of things. It's still uh, the air coaxial type. Uh, the SO239 or if uh, requested an end type you have to excuse my video skills I'm not a Steven Spielberg and the major change is where the center post fits to the base plate we've actually done away with the top flange now and uh, the yellow fiberglass collar that I used to use to isolate the center post from the base plate so now what we've done is we use a 40 mil diameter sorry 50 mil diameter uh, aluminium tube and through a series of plastic shims we've been able to isolate the post from this uh, 50mm OD tube using stainless steel grub screws held in place uh, we use a blue thread lock so they won't vibrate and come undone and this is a dual purpose uh, um, machine socket head first purpose is to only allow the centre post to come down a certain distance into the tubing as shown and then that helps locate to the correct position at the correct depth into the base plate you line that up with the arrow and here as central as you can between these two uh, socket heads and that's pretty much it it's only two two uh, tools needed you need two 13 mil or uh, two half inch spanners depending on whereabouts you are in the world of course metric or imperial and you can use the same spanners for fixing the post to the plate as you will use to fix the hub to your stud master. Okay. So M8 bolts, machine screws, whatever you want to call them stainless steel into a three inch OD two inch ID piece of tube when selecting your stub I suggest go in for 50 mil in metric maximum and for Imperial inch and seven eighths just to give you a little bit of leeway with tolerances as two inches a little bit tight uh, to get inside here okay without further ado we'll just go ahead with the assembly it's very quick hopefully you can see okay like i said i'm no steven spielberg Right, first of all, we need to insert the centre post. I'll just put the camera down, I'll do it and then show you afterwards. Right, I'm just inserting it. The cap screw pointed towards the arrow on the base plate. And then we're just going to do these bolts up. We've got one here, one here and one underneath here we do them up equal amounts each so turn them over and 
first of all we need to check that the post is lined up correctly explain that to you now once I've done it up wish I had another pair of hands <coughs> screw line it up with the arrow and more importantly we need these the stud that stud need to be running horizontally across uh, the base plate across here because this is where the wires will go off so as long as it's there about that's fine so that locates between sp spread of six and one facing the arrow and we just get the three point studs running horizontally across five and two which are engraved there once you're happy with that we can tighten the bolts up okay i'm not going to go too crazy with these because obviously for an example but once these are tight, you're happy with, with how everything has gone together. We need to hold one, and with the other one, just tighten the locking screw, air uh, locking uh, nut. Sorry. So while holding that one, tighten that one to ensure they won't come undone in the future. That is pretty much everything you need to do to attach the centre post to the hub. Stead mast, like I said, 50mm imperial maximum, inch 7 eighths thereabouts in imperial. Same thing again, exactly the same way as we've done with the centre post into the hub you need to just finger tight these first just to centralize centralize the stub mast and once you're happy that you've got it centralized same again we just tighten the bolts once you're happy they are tight we then need to tighten the locking nut so we hold the one one spanner and tighten with the second spanner to all six and the installation of the step mast into the base plate is finished that's pretty much it uh, Quite a simple but effective way I feel to attach the post to the hub and then the hub to the step mast. Now, if you've got any questions put them in the comments box below. I hope the audio is okay on this video. Um, I'm quite new to the GoPro so I hope uh, I hope you're happier with this one than the past ones. HI. Right, so